How's it going, people? Today I'm going to be talking about Shutter Island in 4K Ultra HD. And without any other further ado, let's get straight into the movie first. This movie was one that I saw in theaters back in the day. Um, I try to see uh, every Martin Scorsese movie in theaters. I do, really do. I, I, I like the man. I like his body of work. And uh, this one is no different. I truly do like this movie. And it, it's, it's kind of different for him in the fact that it is kind of a... Uh, a, a mystery and uh what a mystery it is i mean you know you have a movie that you can't really trust anything that you're seeing and you don't quite know what is real and what is not and um you know how much of a reliable narrator is our uh, character of leonardo dicaprio here and um that is something that is definitely worth debating um i i feel like uh, <laughs> you know i um I'm, I'm from massachusetts and this movie definitely has a new england accent that um i feel like is is kind of uh, over the top especially mark ruffalo's character but <laughs> other than that i feel like the accents here are good and um yeah this movie just is a, a real uh, mind twist that I, I, I loved all the way through and even though the resolution here I, I kind of saw it coming before it came to us I did like the journey getting to that resolution and I, I like the acting here Ben Kingsley is awesome and Leonardo DiCaprio Mark Ruffalo though they are both great as well and uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is a really good thriller. I'm getting into the video quality here. This movie was actually filmed with a 2K digital picture. So this is an upscale to 4K, but that is pretty impressive because this movie was actually filmed uh, quite a while ago and not a whole lot of films back then was actually shot with a 2K digital intermediate. But this was, so that is great, and I feel like it shows a little bit. This movie looks great in 4K. This movie is everything you'd want it to be in 4K. You know, right off the top, clarity here is just amazing. You do get film grain here. This movie was actually shot on film, and um, you can tell. But still, it does look amazing. You get a whole lot of clarity here. None of that grain is intrusive to the picture quality. And detail work here is just stepped up. You get so much detail in clothing and just the overall style and the time period that this movie takes place in. I feel like that adds a whole lot to it. Just in the opening scene on the boat, you can see so much texturing and detail to that boat that they are on with uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo's character and Leonardo DiCaprio's character on their way to the island. That alone is awesome. And once they get into the asylum, it is grimy and you can see all that grit and grime on there. HDR is very good here. You get a, a very rich color palette here. It is very striking. A lot of, of harsh colors a lot of reds at times and a lot of just like dark dark blacks and uh, uh the black levels here are so strong it is truly great and um especially during the night scenes it is awesome i'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 this is a one that you guys should pick up for the video quality it is that good and uh, unfortunately, when we're talking about the audio quality here, we are just given the same DTS HD 5.1 mix that was on the Blu-ray. And even though I would like a Atmos mix here for an upgrade, I, I do like this mix. You get a lot of atmosphere in the surround speakers, and uh, it keeps it being very constant, and it keeps that... Uh, paranoia alive i do really love the score of this movie and it hits you hard at times uh bass response here is great speaker separation is very good i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten 
And as far as the digital copy here goes, there is no digital copy here. So we're gonna go straight into special features and that is also pretty light. There is only two featurettes on the Blu-ray, not on the 4K disc uh, that go into the making of the film, but it is real light and very surface level. I would like more uh, from Martin Scorsese specifically, but uh, unfortunately we're not gonna get it here. And I'm gonna give this a uh, four out of 10. And as far as my last looks at Shutter Island, I will say that this movie is a real head trip from beginning to end. It is a movie that will take you on a journey that not a lot of movies really succeed at doing. And um, it really pulls you along on its mystery. And even though, like, even though I was able to figure it out before uh, the movie actually tells you, it is still a, a very enjoyable film. And when you add up all my scores for Shutter Island in 4K Ultra HD, you come out to a 30 out of 40. If you like the movie and if you don't care about the audio not being upgraded, pick it up because you'll really enjoy the video presentation here because it is really damn good. And as always, thank you for watching my videos, guys. You guys are awesome. I don't need to say it because you know it. And I will see all of you next time.